Roswell Flight Test Crew, here on day one of Exponential, and in one of the conference rooms behind us, Arion is getting ready to make a big announcement about a new product for the defense sector. So we're going to do something a little different today. We're going to bring you the whole presentation uncut as it happens. So be sure to let us know what you think about this format in the comments section below. Also, be sure to subscribe so you can keep up with the latest from the show. Now let's go see what this is all about. Well, good afternoon. Nice to uh, stand up here and get a chance to chat with you. It's an exciting day for Arion. Uh, we are going to talk about our new product, but uh, just a brief word on Arion Labs. We are in Waterloo, Canada. So for those of you that have driven, flown to Toronto and then driven the hour west, you know where we are. Uh, we have been busy. We are 11 years old, but in this last year, uh, we saw record sales in 2017, over 2016 for our drones. So that was very exciting for us. Um, we're over 200 people now. We created Arion Defense USA in February of this year, giving birth to that great organization you're going to hear more about in a moment. Uh, and um, we are still looking for another 25 people up in Waterloo and around the, around the world. Um, and uh, the record year in sales last year was really highlighted by success in Europe, the Middle East, uh, and Asia, as well as the United States. So it's been, it's been fun. Everybody's excited, and uh, uh, we're very excited about introducing the R80D Skyraider to you. Um, and what uh, I'd just like to say is that um, Arion Defense is a wholly owned subsidiary of Arion Labs. And it is our vehicle to bring our solutions in to the United States government, which of course would be the military and the different agencies. Hi, I'm Tom Jackson. I'm the Vice President General Manager of Arion Defense, as Bill mentioned. Before that, I was uh, an attack helicopter pilot in the Marine Corps, so I spent uh, 20 years doing that, um, as well as a bunch of the team that we have on board Area Defense. So, as Bill mentioned, we launched Area Defense in February of this year, but we spent the past year preparing for that. Um, I started out originally as a member of Area Labs, um, working with an incredible team up in Waterloo to help uh, bring this product um, out to the U.S. government over this past year uh, with the culmination of the launch today. So we're, we're based here in Denver, Colorado. Um, we're a couple blocks down on 17th Street. We have um, 17 people right now that make up our defense organization. We're a U.S. defense company that is um, fully approved to do U.S. defense work. And we also have an incredible team of people who have former uh, military experience, um, small UAS experience, and then also defense company experience. And so we, we really believe that the best way to reach the U.S. government, and most importantly, to bring capabilities that the warfighters need today was to set this company up. So we've, we've worked really hard um, to get close to the U.S. government and to uh, our warfighters with um, the various organizations of DOD. We do also focus on U.S. federal government agencies, and then also the U.S. foreign military sales program. So what we do at Area Defense is we develop rapid solutions for U.S. DOD and federal government. And, and that could be everything from payload development that's specific to them, um, U.S. tech support and training, uh, U.S. software development, really anything that the U.S. government needs because right now what they're looking for is our companies that are willing to partner with them with high technology solutions, but also ones that are willing to work well with them and also with other companies, and that's us. So very excited to be able to launch uh, not only the company, but our new product, the R80D Sky Ranger, excuse me, R80D Sky Raider. <laughs> um, and, uh, Really exciting to be doing it here in Denver, um, where our office is. So, 
without further ado, I'd like to have Mark, um, we'll start the video, and then Mark will take you through some technical uh, descriptions here on the product. Thank you. Bad Karma, Wild Card Actual, we are feet dry, Oscar might do a OP problem. Roger that. My name is Mark Holm, I'm the Director of Defense Solutions with Area on Defense. What you just saw there was standard, 72 hours, no sleep, non-permissive environment, unfamiliar terrain, under night optic devices, and you have to action an objective. The aircraft you see here, the already d Skyraider, solves for that. Out of the box, with just a couple of days training, this allows any operator the lowest common denominator, fresh out of boot camp, high school education, to take this aircraft forward in a matter of minutes, provide a capability to the tactical level that was previously only available at the theater level and a national level asset level. We have a suite of payloads I'm gonna go over very briefly, and we'll save any questions for the end. Underneath the aircraft right now, you see a big honking camera. So what does that mean to the operator? Your standard binoculars will allow an operator to positively identify a vehicle at 750 meters. With a 60 times zoom optic, you can do it from three kilometers. 
What's that two kilometers worth to an end user? To me, it's worth a lot. With an infrared payload, we can hunt for subterranean complexes in the daytime. We can identify moving, moving vehicles, up to 10 humans at, uh, at night. And with the ability to carry and deliver almost any, any object 4.4 pounds, we're trying to put rapid innovation down to the tactical level. With zip ties and a simple field expedient 3D printable plate, we can deliver MREs, extract time sensitive intelligence, much like the Conop you just saw, fly a radio to be able to beam a line of sight and beam that radio signal to the other side of the valley. Or, if needed, provide field medical supplies to a soldier, sailor, airman, marine that's down. This is very simple. Trying to take the ability to rapidly innovate, put it down to the end user level, and solve for the lowest common denominator. We do have a payload development kit that we do work very closely with our government end users to develop specific solutions that will allow them to rapidly innovate and fly whatever they'd like underneath the bottom of the aircraft.